Okay, so, I'm in a different world, I have a few hundred dollars, and I have people coming after me. To be honest, I've been in worse situations. I want to say this is at least not even in the top ten. Anyways, as weird as that may sound, it's actually a very big problem for me. Especially since those people kind of want to harvest my brain. Actually, it's slowly making its way into the top ten. Anyways. For right now, I guess the best thing to say is I need a plan. I need to find someone that I can trust. So, I really hope that they're actually real out there. So... Let's go find me some friends. Now. Hello, hello everybody. This is Kirusho here. And whenever we last left off, Midoriya, he had just escaped the hospital and used the extremist virus that I cameoed in the last part. Now. That will be sticking around for a little bit of time. Anyways. Now. Midoriya, he is making his way throughout the city. And walking around. It is very late at night, and he does need to go to sleep somewhere. He does think that he should use some of the money that Dr. Chloe gave him to sleep in a hotel. Or at least a room. However, if he does get anywhere near cameras, then that will be tricky. He's not too sure how good surveillance is around the city, or if people have access to it. He isn't carrying a phone, so they can't track him, even if they do see his face. Then again, they wouldn't know the number, would they? This is confusing. Now, he is actually thinking, however... If he can get through anywhere, then he'd have to take back alleyways, doing so and eventually getting a bit further outside of the city, as it is very, very late at night. Midoriya deciding to actually use his powers, and in the middle of the forest, or at least in the outskirts of the forest, he decides to make a bit of a camp. He does pile up together rocks and sticks. However, he does actually use his power to try and create a tent. He's only able to create the cloth, and as soon as the sticks start to form, it falls over. Midoriya has been using his power a bit too much tonight, and he hopes that he can use the last of it to simply do this. This one little thing. As he walks over to the campfire. And puts his hand down directly in the center of it. Turning on extremis in his hand. And simply making it come to life. Zadoria, he just thinks for minutes. That actually did work out very well. And it doesn't really feel like his powers diminished. So, his body does register, the, register this as a different quirk. That is at least good to know. If that's the case, then he should start working on something else. Something that he can use. In case he does find himself unable to use his powers, he can't solely rely on them. He can train them and try and work on them, yes. But they must have been a crutch in my former life here. So. Midori begins to think. Wondering exactly what he should try and do. Try and make. As he sits down at the campfire. And he finds that he's a little bit hungry. Thinking for a minute that he can try and make something like food. But he needs to try and figure this all out. He's been hungry before and it's nothing really new. At least at the hospital, they did give him food. 
So let's try this out. Midoriya, thing for a minute, I want to make. He wants to make something that would help him out a lot in this situation. But he decides against it. Instead, putting his hand down and watching as the shadows dance in the light of the flames. Which then gives him an idea, which he begins to work on before falling asleep. Now, in the morning, Midoriya w does wake up. However, he does wake up because a bird keeps basically just screaming at him, trying to at least make sure that he is some form of dead thing to pick at him. When Midoriya does get up, he actually does see that it's going to be about 6 to 7 in the morning. He barely even got any sleep. Though his power, he can feel it. As he does get up and begin to walk, heading to a special place. The place he knows. As he arrives outside of a giant house with a giant fence. He thinks that he could just walk straight through it and try and get the, this over with. Just rush an explanation and probably sound like a crazy madman. However, he just decides to do one thing. As he presses the button. As soon as he does that, is whenever a man does actually answer over the intercom. Asking exactly who is it. To which he just says, this is Azuka Midoriya. And he was wondering if Momoya Yorozu was at home. Thinking for a second that that imaginary character, he really hopes is not fake. If she does not exist here, then that means that his entire dreams were probably lies. And he is most definitely crazy. As he can feel himself on pins and needles all at once. As the man's response sends Midoriya with a rush of relief. As he goes on saying that Miss Yayorozu is currently at her school. And, well... She had to be there early today, but he can leave a message. Midoriya then goes on to say that Mr. Johnson can just let him in. This confusing the man. The young boy knows his name. To which Midoriya goes on saying that, along with the security guard, Mr. Connors, he, well, can go ahead and open the gate. I know he has the keys for it. Then I can talk with Mr. Yairozu, and at least try and explain something. The man a bit confused. Before the intercom, it just makes a sound. The guy walked away from it, and he's currently going to talk to the head of security. The boy knows who two of them are, and he wants to speak with Mr. Yairozu. As they begin to talk and try and explain things. Mr. Yayorozu is a bit curious, however. This boy claims to be a classmate of Momo's. And yet he knows the head of security and the head of their... <sighs> he knows some of their security team. Now, with that being said... The, eventually, these two guys do come walking out and see Midoriya, along with a few of the help and people around actually staring at the gates, looking in that direction. As these two do see him, in jeans and his jacket, and his hair a bit messed up, from spending a night in the forest. As they go on asking the young man exactly how does he know Miss Yairozu. Him just saying that he can explain inside. But for now, they need Mr. Smith to make some coffee. And to make a signature meal. Naming, listing off something that he used to make every single Sunday. This kind of being a bit odd. 
Only the people at the manor really know that information. So either Momo talks to this boy quite a bit, or he's simply just a psychic, possibly with a quirk that allows him to read minds. However, there should be a distance on it. So the boy clearly does have some form of information, possibly a black male. As the security team do sit him down and try and talk with him. As they are about to notify the authorities. Now, Midoriya actually does persuade them into talking with him. As as soon as they get close enough, Midoriya gives them orders. And simply explains to them what is going on. Showing them everything he's been through and explaining what happened. Them being a bit confused. All Might doesn't exist, yet at the same time, they feel like he does. They feel like that name in particular just sort of just fits right in their brain. Someone who is stronger than Endeavor but tries to smile. Tries to make sure that there is peace in the world. A symbol, if you would. It just seems to fit better than Endeavor. The guy used to be a headstrong guy back in his younger days. However, he was properly humbled by the experiences he went through. The guy doesn't smile a lot, but hey. He won't be the guy who screams and yells like a rampaging child. Now. With that being said, Midoriya sort of does it to some of the staff. Only the ones he needs to. This head of security, the guy he was talking to, one of the butlers, and then Mr. Yairozu. He doesn't do this to him. Just simply trying to explain to him what is going on. Mr. Yairozu, however, he does not believe Midoriya. Midoriya sounds like some crazy kid who just broke out of a mental institution. He is not wrong. However, he does simply ask the young boy if he can manipulate reality, why doesn't he try and bring back this hero? The number one hero, or the proper man if you believe him to be. Midoriya sort of just freezing, and thinking for a minute. He never tried that, as he simply just brings up his hands, and tries to focus on the hero, taking a deep breath in, and then taking a deep breath out. Opening his eyes as he believes All Might will be standing right in front of him, in between the two. However, there is nothing there. He feels like he used his power, but at the same time, it didn't work. He couldn't bring back All Might. So what does that mean? Him just looking down at his hands a bit confused. And curious. Mr. Yairozu, however, he is curious too. He clearly felt something in the room, and it sort of put him off for a second. Did the boy do it? Is All Might's quirk invisibility? Is it teleportation? Is it faster than light movement? What was that? Midoriya not being able to give an answer, and simply trying to explain to him showing him his memories, with his remaining power, before having to rely on Extremis. Now, Mr. Yairozu, he does, kind of, begin to understand. And he tells Midori that he will be staying here for a little bit of time. If his quirk is reality-bending, or if you, well can show us properly tomorrow morning, then it can be assumed that we can help you. However, this all might. I'm sort of curious now. Something is wrong. Mr. Yairozu telling the man in charge of the butlers, or the head butler, to take this boy to a room, get him a proper change of clothes, and something to eat. To which they promptly do for Midoriya. 
the man simply trying to ask Midori some questions. To which he does give a little bit of answers. And eventually, Midori does take a shower, change into some clothes, and sit down to eat. Now, as Midoriya is eating, he does actually know that a few people are giving him eyes. They simply will not stop looking at him. Some of them do want to ask him questions. The boy basically arrived on the doorstep like a stray, like a stray cat, and is being taken in, cared after, and fed. So, this alone already is not a good first impression. However, it could have gone worse. He could have used extremists and forces way into the mansion, like a villain. Then again, he will fix everything after this is all said and done. So it wouldn't be permanence. <sighs> this is beginning to get annoying. As Midoriya thinks, after he is done eating, he does actually spot someone out of the corner of his eye. As soon as he saw it, it almost felt like a truck hitting him directly in the gut. As if his heart simply stopped. Midoriya turning to see Momo Yayorozu, the girl that he remembers from so many, many times. Simply just looking at her and seeing her is something that he can't really get over. Especially now. She looks exactly the same as he remembers, so he is for sure not crazy. So, Midoriya immediately gets up and runs over. Rounding the corner he saw her pass and trying to talk with her. As soon as she sees him, she is a bit confused, getting his name and seeing that he is dressed just like one of the people who help out around their mansion. As Midoriya simply goes on saying that it's very nice to see her again, to which she has no response. She's not sure who this young person is. As she goes on asking him if she knows him, to which he simply says yes. In fact, well, Midoriya thinks of a very good lie, saying that he is here to personally train her for the entrance exam, to which this sort of confuses her. Her simply just looking Midoriya up and down and asking him exactly why does he believe that he can train her for the entrance exam. She is going on recommendation. Well, Miss Yayorozu, I can perfectly assure you that I will get you properly ready and prepared. In fact, I do not believe that you would want to take the recommendations. This somewhat actually surprising Momo. Her father gave her the recommendation, and she was going to take it simply because she didn't want to seem ungrateful. Midoriya then going on to state that she is a very nice person. The only reason she took the recommendations is because she didn't want to disrespect her father. However, there is a difference between earning something and being handed it. Momo simply stared at Midoriya. As his words have meaning, they have power. Everything he says seems true to what she is thinking. As she simply asks him, what is his quirk? To which Midoriya simply says that it's such an unbelievable ability. As his face begins to glow like this around his mouth. Her watching as Midoriya then brings up his left hand, and pulls back his left sleeve, as his entire arm begins to glow with his power, this strange ability. Midoriya just saying that this is one that he used recently. He created it. And then there's something I'm working on. Then, there's my true ability. My quirk is called Reality Bending. I can alter reality anywhere within a 10 foot radius of myself. That used to be a lot bigger. 
However, something's very wrong with what I did. Um, I'm sorry, reality bending? I don't really believe you. It's not possible to create or destroy matter. Simply to exchange it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to tell you that. Your creation quirk is simply something I could do. But... I'm not sure how to explain myself. Midoriya simply asking her if she would like something. He does have a little bit of power he could probably use. To which she goes on stating that she would like to see him create something out of a specialized material. She wants it to be exactly 15% copper, 17% aluminum, 18% iron, 30% gold, and 20% titanium. Midoriya simply just thinking about that for a second, before he simply turns over his hand. And a little disc is formed in it. It is shaped very roughly. However, you can clearly tell there is an odd mix of metals in it. Midoriya does actually look a little bit winded from doing that, as his breathing got a little bit heavier. Her then asking him if he is alright, to which he just says that he's been using his ability a lot today. He's been trying to train it ever since he got away from the people who tried taking him. You are in danger? Not anymore. I sort of dealt with it. Anyways, listen, this is exactly what you asked for, so test it, do whatever you want with it, but it is just proof of my abilities, and I look forward to seeing you into the near future. Have a good night, Momo Yayorozu. Now, Midoriya does actually walk away, heading back to his room for the night. Anyways. I do believe that is a good point to leave this off of. I do hope you guys enjoyed.